Why am I back for more in 2017? That is one heck of a good question. After the agony and the ecstasy of the walk last year, particularly the agony. Um, but so many people have been in touch with me, you know, people with stories of their battle against prostate cancer. So many people who want to say thank you to Russ Green and thank you to myself and thank you to Prostate Cancer UK for their support. You know, it's just inspirational and it's inspired me to try and do something once again. You know, after all, as we all know, this is a disease, an illness that kills one man every hour in the UK. One man every hour in the UK. I just decided I couldn't sit on my backside and do nothing about it. So here we are. We're going to try and do 15 marathons in 15 days, 400 miles. My feet are feeling the pain already. It'll be worth it. Well, last year, the people I met on the walk were, were just incredibly inspirational. Um, people who don't necessarily fall into the age group where you would expect them to be affected by prostate cancer. People with young children. People obviously with wives, with dependents. People who didn't feel any sympathy for themselves. No self-pity. They were getting on with living, getting on with supporting their loved ones, getting on with a battle against Prostate Cancer UK. There were too many stories to tell in truth, but Every single one of them was inspirational. I mean, I'd be walking alongside people, you know, and say, why are you here? And, and, and the person I was talking to would say, we've been given six months to live, you know. And I thought they were spending their precious moments, you know, walking to support the battle against Prostate, prostate Cancer UK so that other people in the future didn't suffer in the way that they were featuring right then. I mean, it's just, just inspiring individuals from start to finish. Yeah, I mean, we were looking, thinking for, of a different idea. And, you know, being a football man, St. James's Park, you know, there's only one St. James's Park. No, there's not. There are two. Uh, so we, we just thought we'd see how far it was between the two. It gives us an opportunity to go to parts of the country um, that we've not been to before, to get our message over to people who maybe didn't hear that message as loudly last time around. So it'll be in the West Country, starting down there in extra, as you say, we'll be heading north relentlessly and through that sporting hotbed of the northwest around Manchester and Liverpool and through great football clubs and great rugby league clubs and then over the Pennines with some beautiful scenery on the way as well as we head towards the northeast and um, passing Hartlepool en route of course and ending in St James's Park one of the great football grounds where I know we'll get a fantastic welcome from all Geordies. So, I'm excited about it. I might not be excited about it seven or eight days in, but right now, I'm excited about it.